now that we've like put this hole in the wall, there will be trans girls and boys and whoever who will skate better than us, be more confident in themselves, be more outspoken, who will just know more than we knew. And they'll fucking take the reins. And I can't fucking wait. Did the world change or just skateboarding? <laughs> I don't know. It's like essential for people to see something different than the things they see in case they identify with something different that they know that it's okay and there's like space for them. Right? Does that make sense? I watch a lot of skate videos, but I didn't truly like see anybody in these skate videos who like caught my attention. But yeah, when I saw Corey, it just looked like a, one of the Sex Pistols on a skateboard or something. I thought that was like, you know, 10 year old me was like, whoa, this is so cool. Sarah Strawberry, she's everything I dreamed of being when I was young. She wears what she wants, she's ripping. Something I love about Shara though, personally would be, it brought me into a community here of meeting a whole lot of new friends. Seeing all these like other like kind of like wild styles, I loved it. I thought it was like so exciting. Like, yeah, I used to get beat up for that. And like, you guys are all friends now? This is cool. I met Cher at Rockridge. It's a, it's a pretty tight circle, and if you don't like, you recognize someone, or you know, you want to, you want to learn more. Why would why wouldn't you want to learn more? <laughs> Working with Cher was obviously when we became tight, you know. But it was like out of just sheer curiosity, I was like, "Fuck, dude, I want to be friends with that person." Like you can live vicariously through just her words. Have you listened to her music? She did a, a three-song set, and I fucking cried. It was amazing, dude. So I quit skating for like 11 years and I just played music. I was playing in tons of like punk bands and stuff. Is it recording? And I started like hanging out with these like punk kids and like started asking questions about like sexuality and stuff like that. And that kind of exonated like all the skater friends that were boys that I had. They were like, what the fuck? When I started asking like, you know, you know any gay people? Punk rock people were fucking nice to me all the time. Like, they welcomed me with open arms, like all these older punk kids. I went on tour for a year. Then I had like all this tragic stuff in my life happen. I was like over the bands and tired of going on tour and I just didn't know what I wanted to do at all. So I was like, I'm moving back to the Bay. Like I'm taking a year off music. And then my friend was like, we should go skate in this parking garage, it was like winter. Jess started skating with us a few nights and after like the third night, Jess was like, whoa, we're all like queer. Maybe we should do like a queer skate company. We slowly met more and more queer and trans skaters in the Bay. Kind of life changing for us, you know, to know that there are like a lot of us. We did what ended up being like the first queer skate day or like meet up. We just took over our spots and we just kind of made a place for ourselves. But this is my old apartment. That was my fire escape. I used to sit out there and play guitar and fucking read all day. And it was a cute ass little life for six months. Yeah, hell yeah, that's my guy. Then I moved to New York. And now I miss it here. I just rolled up to EMB randomly and there was like a whole squad of people. Cher was trying to backside heal the the steps in the in the center. William Strobeck hit me up and he's like, hey, come back heel the six there at Embarcadero. Like, like I know you got it. 
So I go there and I'm a little intimidated. It's like all boys besides like Beatrice. I've never skated around the Sony Pros in my life. I saw Sean at my punk rock show and was like, oh shit. That was sick. Then Alyssa Steamer runs up out of nowhere and is like, yo, sure, fuck these dudes. Like, land that shit right now. Like, you got it, this try. And then I did it like two tries later. And that's kind of how I like entered into this like skate world, like for real, I feel. Shortly after that, her and Steven and Leo started doing glue. And I was just really excited for them to have like another queer and trans owned company. That video they put out was like one of my favorite things I've watched, like in skateboarding. I looked at this spot every day for like three years. This is where I did the bomb drop and Shancha shot it really sick. Um, and it was like the cover of the On Glue article in Thrasher. It's in my smut part too. Roll clip. Cher just like made it seem possible to like do anything with skateboarding. It makes me really happy to see people like Cher, Leo, like tons of people in skateboarding because it's so necessary that like people see somebody that represents a way they might feel. Cher, as like a trans woman in skating, is just, she's inspiring so many people and she's just changing skating and everything. Just her being herself. Now maybe you can like be queer or trans or something and with unity too and like all my fucking friends, you know, we've opened a fucking door that was not there. The wheels are turning in her head and it's, and you know, it's one of those things where you just kind of like, hey, this is special. Take, take advantage of that and run with it, you know? Strap in, man, we're gonna go for it. It's just like great that people can be free and be who they are. And I'm sure there's criticism and harshness even to like power through that and just still be like, fuck it, I'm just gonna be who I am is like amazing sense of freedom. <laughs>